Okay, September 15th. Things are really, really winding down. It's the old garden, the old backyard garden. So we'll give you a quick tour. Um, <clears throat> let you know what worked this year and what didn't. So here we got my um, winter squash, uh, butternut, butternut squash. Did really well. One, two, three, four, five. And I think I got one over there. Six. Tells the weather cooled down. It got cooked in this spot too. The weather cooled down. Got some new growth. Maybe it'll help these ripen up faster. I don't know. And then this fail here. This was the um, yellow squash. Basically a yellow zucchini. And the only reason it was a fail. Because I think it got cooked. Especially in the pot. Not doing pots next year. Next year. What you see here is going to be two more beds, just like you see over there. And all the stuff I grew in pots is going to be grown in the beds because they just get um, they just get cooked. Um, the cantaloupe, well, the, the peppers didn't really uh, get affected. They like the heat. The cantaloupe did well between these two. You can see that one's done. I actually cut the, there's no more cantaloupe on them, so I cut the, um, the stems this one's still hanging in there and still got cantaloupe <laughs> uh, probably got about a dozen of them um, about I don't know about six each maybe even more they uh, they did well you got to be careful though a couple of them got overripe because I wasn't paying close enough attention I come out here and they'd fallen off the stems cut them open and they're they're okay they're a um, little mushy and and super super juicy so here are the peppers they're they're winding down um, I made my hot sauce with these ones they're like the milder hot sauce these are the free Christians and these are the um oh don't draw a blank now yeah it's those so anyway um, I do have a friend that loves them so I've been picking them for him he eats he eats them raw um there's my little harvest today got some habaneros some ghost peppers and a couple couple eggs get a couple eggs a day habaneros doing well they're ripening the fastest out of the three super hots um the carolina reapers they still have a long ways to go to ripen i mean we got some yellow ones in here we want them to turn red like there's one that's probably ready, but see the green right there. So I'm going to let him go a little longer. So I'll be making, um, let's see, I've done three batches of hot sauce. I did a mixture of all of these. I did a batch with just these because they were actually the first ones to ripen. And it's okay. I am a small little bite to them. Nothing overpowering. Um, let's see. So my next batch is going to be, I'm, I'm going to do one just habanero, one just ghost, and one Carolina Reaper. Come on, start thinking here, Tim. What's going on? Okay. These ghosts are getting real close. As you can see, there's plenty of them in there. They still need some ripening, though. Uh, weather's looking kind of favorable for that. The beans this year have been absolutely incredible. I mean, 20 pounds, maybe more. I'm not exaggerating. And there's still more to pick. There's still more growing. So, I'll probably, we'll probably just pick them for dinner as we need them. Because I've already canned, froze a whole bunch. I've already canned, froze a whole bunch of peppers. We got all the onions cured, put away. We made salsas, um, marinara, and we're thinking about making like barbecue and ketchup. Looked like a process, though, but we're going to try. So there's the giant sunflower. Squirrel keeps coming to get them. And as you can see, I'm letting the dogs in the yard back here. I still got to keep an eye on them because this rascal here. Uh, can easily get into the chicken coop area and he's gotten several to his name so he can be back here but not, <clears throat> not unattended uh, bell peppers outstanding 
awesome year dozens and dozens and dozens of them and look at all the dozens and dozens still in here we got several getting red so I don't know if they're gonna make it um, shit uh, it could there's nothing in the forecast but it could theoretically start snowing getting down to freezing any any day next storm who knows I want to get all these pulled before that happens there's another nice nice red one look at that beauty god they're so gorgeous so beautiful and I got a million little ones up top so yeah and there's a whole bunch of red ones still in there these are all my rejects potatoes are all harvested um decent potato harvest um next year's gonna be the red new orleans they did better than the sangries i don't know why it just happened that way uh no disease or any problems last year i had that uh i don't know some kind of wart thing they were fine but still you'd rather not have that um the slicers great these guys have been great for me for several years now um when i take these plants down oops when I take the tomatoes down, like I could put these in a cardboard box and they'll ripen up. So I'm done with Romas. Um, every year I do Romas. They take really long to ripen. Um, they're real susceptible to blossom and rot. They um, came up. There's a tiny little bit of it. They came up. Everything was fine. And then the second spur to growth, blossom and rot. I gave them some of this... Um, calcium organic fertilizer actually it's what i give everything three times three times out the season and then the blossom end rot stopped and uh but still um we just picked a few that we could and mainly use the slicers here for the salsas and stuff they're a little juicy and there was a variety that I grew that sickly plant if you see my other videos it actually grew better bigger ones than the, um, the heirloom Italian one I keep forgetting the name bigger but yep done with Romas my friend Valerie she uh, showed me an heirloom tomato plant that she grew and had great success with so i'm gonna give that a shot next year and get rid of growing the romas oh look the ladybugs are still around asparagus is doing great um it's gonna be a great harvest next year this year what happened was they they came up uh we had a freeze it messed them up pretty bad kind of freeze dried them second when start warming up again they start coming up again had a second freeze and same thing happened so i decided to let all the remaining ones that were coming up come up so we have energy and plants for um spears for next year so didn't really harvest much harvest a few but next year should be good and then i think that's about it I'm gonna have to i guess my next videos are gonna be um you know how i prepare everything for the over the fall for winter and there's the chickies they're a big part of it so what's I'm gonna be doing all this is gonna be going into the garden bed now you look at that and you think oh nasty ew, look at all that poop but you know what this doesn't even smell I do the deep litter method I got about a foot of pine needles in there not needles but uh, shavings I keep adding them throughout the summer and then I'll scrape all this out and I'll give them a nice big giant thick insulating bed of more pine shavings and then that will come out next summer so yeah I keep like adding over the summer and it just keeps getting thicker and thicker so I do have to clean this up and kind of turn well I didn't have chickens for last year and things got piled up and just these two guys can't keep up now, I'm not going to get more chickens. That's not going to happen. Um, but I'll be scraping a lot of this up. And it'll, it will also be going into the uh, garden bed. Um, and a lot of this, you see, is from me trimming that 
spruce tree that I absolutely hate. Um, trimming it up. I swear to God, the damn thing grows a foot a year. Shading out in the garden more and more every year. Um, yeah, and I'm, I'm just going to burn all that. Most of this in the fire. No fire pit. and We'll get that cleaned up. Some winter projects. A lot of winter projects. Okay. So I think that's it. My next video will be um, probably after I take everything down. It might be next week. I don't know. I don't know. I'll think about it. I hate to waste all those peppers, though. Okay. Until next time.